In this video, we're gonna show you how to upgrade to Boost Auto's GM 2015 Plus style tow mirrors for your 2007 to 2014 GM trucks. Upgrade to Boost Auto's GM style tow mirrors to take the visibility and overall appearance of your truck to the next level. Small mirrors on your truck limit how much you can see in the rear, especially when towing. With our tow mirrors, you can tow comfortably and with ease, utilizing features such as reverse lights, running lights, and turn signal. Drive even in the cold and wet with our upper and lower defrost option because you need to be able to see out of both mirrors. Please note, the install procedure is only for our manual fold mirrors. If you want to upgrade to power folding mirrors, please reference a separate Boost Auto video. With our patented wireless technology, you can upgrade to power fold even if your truck did not come equipped with power fold from factory. If your truck does have factory power fold, you can retain this feature with our plug and play option. So why settle for stock when you can upgrade to a set of these tow mirrors, drive safe, tow effortlessly, and ride in style. Don't miss out, snag a set of these tow mirrors today. As always, to check fitment, availability, and to purchase this or any of our other products, go to BoostAuto.com. Up next, the installation. Your tow mirrors kit will come with two GM style tow mirrors, two extension harnesses, two fuse taps, and other supplementary items necessary for this install. For this install, you'll need the following tools. To begin, disconnect the batteries at the negative terminals. Then move over to the driver door. The door panel removal and reassembly steps vary slightly depending on your truck's trim level. Please follow the steps that apply to your truck. These first steps are for lower trim levels. If your truck is an LTZ, SLT, or Denali, skip ahead to the next section. Remove this triangular trim piece, then add the door lock tab, use a pick tool to release the locking tab, then pull up on the tab. Remove the trim piece on the door grab support, then remove the trim piece behind the door grab. Remove also the trim piece behind the door handle and unscrew the 10mm bolt behind it. There are two bolts behind the door grab, remove them too. The door grab support has two more bolts, go ahead and remove them too. Pull back on the door grab support to completely detach it. Then, pry up on the window and mirror switch. Disconnect the connectors here. On the fourth connector, use a pick tool to pry out on the lock, then pull up to release it. Push down on the gray mirror connector clip here. Then pry out around the edges of the door panel to release the tabs. Pull the door panel up and out, making sure not to damage the door lock tab. On the rear of the door panel, disconnect the door release cable. You'll need to depress these two tabs first so you can push it out of its fitting. With that, the door panel can be completely removed and set aside. Disconnect the mirror connector. Then pull down on the door insulation about halfway to access this metal door support. Go ahead and remove the three 10mm bolts holding it in place. Then undo the clips holding the mirror harness in place, or simply cut the tape off. Now if your truck is a higher trim, such as LTZ, SLT, or a Denali, you can pick back up over here. For lower trim trucks, please skip ahead to mirror replacement. First, remove this triangular trim piece. Then at the door lock tab, use a pick or a flathead screwdriver to release the locking tab and pull up on the tab. Remove the trim cover behind the door handle as well as under the door grab. Then use a 10mm socket to remove the bolts behind the door handle and door grab. There are trim clips located around the edge of the door panel. Go ahead and pop them out and you should be able to lift up the door panel. Disconnect the door release cable by depressing on the top and bottom tabs, as shown here. Go ahead and remove the three connectors. This will free up the door panel, so go ahead and set it aside. Then guide the mirror connector to the mirror mount. At the mirror mount, remove any insulation and disconnect the three 10mm nuts here, supporting the mirror from the other side. 
pull out on the factory small mirrors and guide the rest of the harness out. There may be a trim clip holding the mirror in place, so be sure to release it if this is the case on your truck. Next, unbox your brand new Boost Auto tow mirrors. Guide the mirror harness through as well as the studs until the mirror trim clip is pushed through all the way. Next, install the three 10mm nuts to secure the mirror in place. Following the same path of the old mirror harness, pass the Boost Auto mirror harness over to the other connectors. Then, connect the mirror connector to the truck. On lower trims, the mirror harness will connect here. However, on higher trims, this will plug directly into your window switch during door panel reinstallation. Your tow mirrors kit will also come with an extension harness to enable some of the lighting features. Go ahead and connect the harness to the other mirror connector. This harness will need to be guided to the fuse box under the dash. Now if your tow mirrors came equipped with running light, your extension harness will have three wires total, the orange wire being for the running light. If you ordered signal only mirrors, your harness will not have the orange wire. In that case, you can disregard any steps pertaining to the orange wire. Locate the door jam boot and use a flathead screwdriver to press in on the tabs under the grommet to release it. Do this on both the door and cab side of the boot. Go ahead and fish the extension harness through inside the door and back out through the door jam boot opening. Pass a firm metal rod halfway through the door jam boot. Then, take the wires of the extension harness to the firm metal rod and pass it through the door jam boot the rest of the way. Be careful not to chafe any wires in the process. Go ahead and pass the harness through the door jam boot opening on the cab to the inside of the cab under the dash. Repeat everything up until this point on the passenger side. Once the extension harness is inside the cab on the passenger side, pass it behind the center console over to the driver's side. The driver side gray wire and passenger side gray wire are both for ground. Locate this nut behind the brake pedal to secure both ground wires to and remove this nut. Go ahead and cut the gray wires to length and strip back some of the insulation. Then take the eyelet from your kit and crimp the two wires together. Install the eyelet on the stud behind the brake pedal and install the nut back in place. Go ahead and splice the driver side wires to the corresponding wire color from the passenger side, leaving enough slack on the wires. Use the access length left from the driver side extension harness to run through the underhood. We're using butt connectors to splice the wires in the video, but you can choose any method of your liking. Next, take the white and orange wires to a firm metal rod and pass it through the firewall, poking it through the grommet under the dash, as shown here. Under the hood, below the driver's side hinge, locate the grommet and pull out the rest of the rod and the harness. Locate the fuse box and remove this lid. Then, on the orange wire, strip back some of the insulation and crimp a fuse tap to the wire. Locate and remove the left parking lamp fuse. The layout of the fuse box is printed on the underside of the fuse box lid for your reference. Please go off of fuse location as fuse color may vary. Place the removed fuse at the bottom slot of the orange running light wire. Then install the fuse tap from where the left parking lamp fuse was removed. Similarly, connect the white wire to a fuse tap. Next, locate and remove the trailer backup fuse. Place the removed fuse at the bottom slot of the white reverse wire. Then, install the fuse tap from where the trailer backup fuse was removed. After that, you can install the lid back on the fuse box. Back inside of the vehicle, under the dash, tuck any slack from the extension harness under the carpet and out of the way of any pedals. Go ahead and install the door jam boot by pressing the tabs in place. The door panel reassembly steps outlined here are for lower trims. Please skip ahead to the next section if you have a higher trim. Install the metal door support, then pass all the harnesses through the insulation. After that, bring the door panel over and connect the door release cable. Then fish all the connectors out through the opening of the window and mirror switch. Guide the door panel in place, making sure not to damage the door lock tab in the process. 
by the window and mirror switch, insert the grey tab of the mirror connector in its original place, then install all the connectors at their original position. Press in the window and mirror switch until the tabs latch. Then install the door grab support, the two screws there, the two screws behind the door grab, and the one screw behind the door handle. Install the trim pieces behind the door grab support, behind the door handle, and behind the door grab. Insert the door lock lever back in place and press in the tab to secure it in place. Finally, install the foam insulation by the mirror mount and install the triangular trim piece. This section contains door reassembly steps for higher trims. For lower trim trucks, please skip ahead to the final steps. Bring the door panel over to the door and connect the door release cables as well as the connectors. Guide the door panel back on the door. Be sure not to damage the door lock tab when doing so. Press in all the tabs around the edge of the door panel, then install the three 10mm bolts as well as the trim pieces behind the door handle and the door grab. Slide the door lock in place and press in the tab to lock it in place. Insert the foam by the mirror mount, then install this triangular trim panel to complete your door panel reassembly. To complete your installation, reconnect the batteries under the hood. Thank you for watching this tutorial. To get yourself a set of these GM style tow mirrors for your 2007 to 2014 GM truck, go to our website at boostauto.com. Boost Auto also offers a wide range of parts and accessories for your truck or SUV. To stay up to date on new product releases and more videos like this, subscribe to our YouTube channel. That's all for now. We'll catch you in the next one.